Welcome back to Works and Resources Soviet Republic. So we started again, but uh, I didn't want to go through the initial thing with you. I will explain what I did to start out, because uh, it takes a lot of uh, flattening out and stuff like that to get going to start with. So I always go with a coal mine to start with. We've got nine people in there. The I don't, I'm not getting many in, but uh, that's fine. Do that, you would just go into construction, gravel the coal, and then coal mine, and it will show you in different color blocks where there's coal. If it's red, then there's not. Yellow's, uh, orange is a little bit, yellow's a bit more, and green would be fantastic. But uh, I went into the middle of the map ish, well, it's not really middle, because we have. Uh, iron ore over here. So we're going to go into making our own steel which will save us a hell of a lot of uh, rubles and dollars. So we have our western friends there and our soviet friends oops, just over there. So we can export to both eventually when we've got it made. So we start with a, a, a coal mine and I always like to put a, a building right next to it, a residential building, so that we get workers in. Even though they just run away and uh, don't do what they're supposed to. Then we've got storage for our coal ore, so this is kind of like a buffer. So if this ever fills up and our uh, other yard fills up, we can still mine and not worry about it. Then this goes into our coal processing plant. I had to use one of these little, um, what are they called? The conveyor engine transfer. So this is in, um, well, infrastructure, conveyors, and then there. And this is going to move into our uh, coal plant. I had to use this because the uh, we're kind of on a mountain. And we've also got a bridge there, if you notice. A little, little road leading up. This is... Uh, still quite an annoyance for me where roads just won't automatically build up hills and stuff it's it's uh, it's dreadful I hear this but that is the pretty much the only thing that knocks me about this game I kind of love everything else on it so from the coal processing plant we go into a coal storage and then again another one of those uh, engines into the coal plant and we also have our little uh, uh, line going up over to the Soviet so that it's making dosh. Can't, I uh, haven't got it set very high because we're not really making that much gold and stuff. Uh, when first starting the coal plant, I had to manually purchase uh, some coal. So manual purchase and that. Just, just get it going. We've also got another block of flats there with people in, and I think that's. We've only got two. Yeah. We've got our little shopping centre here with the uh, a bus route there. And there's a bus route there, and one other by the school. Uh, I still can't quite get these into the school. I think we can do it with the actual school, with the bus route. I and mean, we could um, change it so they just go to school and stuff like yeah uh, can only be used for the school but we also want them to go to the shopping centre so I've kind of left it automated in a fashion we've put it here so they can only go to school and kindergarten uh, did I have a bus route here yes we've got, also got a bus route there so these are going to I've got our workers going to these fields we're going for big fields this time and what we have with our um, agro farm is it's going, <coughs> excuse me, straight into a uh, 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 what's it called a warehouse. So all of our crops will go into the warehouse. Then hopefully it'll come into our food factory, and then it should go back as food to the warehouse. That's the hope. Whether it does that or not, I do not know. We might have to need another warehouse. I mean, we could actually buy some crops to find out if this works. Let's do it. Uh, manual purchase for rubles. 
Let's do 60 kit. I mean, 60 tons. Oops. Just, just buy it once. Just, just to see if this actually works. Let's uh, speed it on. So we make the food. Um, right, we need to make. We probably just need to make more food. Um, can we restrict this? Is it amount? No, I think that'll be fine. So we'll probably just have to fill that up first before it goes back. So we'll go all the all the things we have. So we have our workers here who can't get any clothes or anything. Uh, we probably need some kind of train route or something to make this better, but it's fine for now. I, th I think at least these can can't get down. <laughs> so only these can get down. But again, these are saying they can't even get it, even though it's right there and you can reach it. So it's probably we're not having enough. We put some uh, beautiful, beautiful trees around our schools and stuff, and we do have our usual bulldozer place, our uh, construction yard. So to get that one going, I always build one of these. Why well, now? I always build one of these right at the start. So this would be construction related industry and then construction office and then put one down usually build one of these right at the start so we can get bulldozers so we can then flatten our own land and it costs us nothing rather than paying for it all the time see look at our money not going down at all it's not costing us a thing so I always like to do that first if you're playing on a, a harder setting where you need uh, gas and stuff uh, fuel you will need to put a gas station in as well you do cut these bulldozers do come with a bit of fuel to start with so you don't need to build the gas station straight away and we also don't need our power plant straight away either but it's always a good practice to get this uh, up and running as soon as possible so you can power your gas station and your bulldozers don't run out of fuel whilst you're flattening everything out. Uh, also got one of these, cause, uh, what's it called? A road vehicle depot, which is kind of the same place, so, um, uh, no it's not. Infrastructure, roads, and then road vehicle depot. That is so we can buy buses. We have started in the 60s this time, so we don't have the best vehicles, they're all a bit uh, crap. We've also put a bit of uh, sports, facilities down so that uh, well we still not participate in sport <laughs> so it's probably best to have housing estates and then make them use the buses to go to work and then have the schools and stuff within those housing estates I think that's probably the better way to go not putting the schools out there and then try to get them to bus in but now we've gone over all of that, our food's going to take forever to make there. We are getting food back in, so that now works perfectly. <laughs> in a fashion. And then we could just get a, if we want to export this at a later date, we could just get our fans to go in there, pick up the food, and away it goes. I probably should have put um, a silo there, but I just wanted to see if it worked. And we could maybe put a silo in later on. I probably don't think we could actually. I mean, could we could we rotate it around? And then we could maybe get it to rotate to there. But then we probably wouldn't be able to get it back. But it, it, it's fine like that. I mean, it takes 360 tons. We could just have another warehouse and then maybe change these around a little bit so that this exports to where... Uh, just the warehouse. I'm not I'm sure we can do that. Actually. Yes, see, see we can. So we could just have that going to somewhere else and just have that as crops. But you know, I just wanted to see if it worked first. It would be better with a silo here and then going to there and then going to um, somewhere else. But at least with our crops going here, we could, in theory, put a few few more fields down and then start getting our uh, livestock farm going so that we could maybe demolish those skills because they're in the way now uh, so 
potentially there, but that wouldn't be right, would it? Yeah. Possibly like that. We put our livestock farm there. Then we can connect this one up to itself. And then we've got a road we can go to. But that is for a later time. We are going to go straight oops, into building um, steel. Get the, if we get steel going, the gravel going, bricks and some other crap, then we uh, we can become self-sufficient. So let's take a look at gravel and iron. Let's go for iron. We kind of want to get this as close as possible because we're a little bit far away. And if we can get on this flat road, that would be awesome. And we're going to flatten this out eventually a bit more. So that isn't exactly how I wanted to place it. It's windy wonky. Uh, actually, we'll put the wireframe on. There we go, it is wonky. So we'll get rid of that and try this a little bit better. So if you want to. wish that thing wasn't moving. If you want to rotate it slowly, if you press and hold left control and then use your mouse wheel to rotate, it should line up a lot better. Now let's get the flattening down. I think we might be too far away. No, we're not too far away. Nice. So we don't need to make everything perfectly flat. Because uh, it would be nice, but this is really far down. And although I hate going up banks and stuff with it, it should be fine. We should be able to get some kind of road going. So what we'll do there is now flatten this bit down. Because I don't want all of our processing of this uh, iron to be there. We want it a bit closer to home. Like, hopefully, maybe it's here. And then the iron factory there. And then it can just connect up really quickly. And then we could have... Uh, maybe it's a couple of yards and stuff so our uh, construction teams can get there a bit sooner. Let's see if we can get um, some kind of road in here. So which one are we on? If we can get uh, down this middle one. I've lost it. This is a massive road to nowhere. No, we won't do that one there. Uh, how about we get this one? Oh man. So we might need some kind of bridge over here. Okay, well, let's go for the bridge first. Maybe we can. Oh, look at that. So use Q and E to move it down and move it up. And then we can put our other road in. But we're going to say, let's build it ourselves. That built that anyway. Ooh, that's fine. And we still got all this way to go. That's some gravel there, I suppose. Um, should we use this as our gravel place? I think we will. We'll flatten that down a little bit. So I don't, I don't, don't really care about getting this road perfect, because let's just face it, these roads are never perfect. But if we can flatten our land down near the roads, to match the roads, then we can fit everything in there and they should connect up nicely. So I'm going to fast this bit on whilst I uh, flatten everything out, so you don't have to watch this bit because I kind of want to keep these episodes for about, I don't know, 30-40 minutes each. So that's a little bit of flattening out done. It, it, it kind of looks dreadful, but it's okay. Um, let's go back to our 
industry. And we want an iron processing plant. We do probably want... Um, this comes in here. And then it goes out. So I kind of... Oh, should we have it down here? We'll probably use this as all uh, some more farming land. Get loads of them going. Maybe. Probably. So we'll have uh, industry over here. And then we'll get our car plant and everything else kind of over here. So we do want plenty of room. Let's put a wireframe back on. So we can get this lined up somehow. Control, turny, turny you a little bit. So we probably want people living here as well. Oh, why is the road that way? Oh, I would love the road to be. I think that might be better that way. Yes. So we'll have him there. And then our conveyor is way, way too far away. But that's fine, because we're going to use a couple of these. We'll kind of try and keep them somewhat near the road. If we can. It will then have. <clears throat> I want to try and keep it clean. Ish. So if we can go and try and keep it on like um, some kind of level. Speaking of level, that's not level. We'll put this up a little bit. Oh, I said we're going to have a gravel factory there, didn't it? Ugh. Never mind. There's plenty of gravel elsewhere. We could still do it, I suppose. Well, not really, because we'd have to bypass some of this. There's plenty of gravel. That can't be. Plenty of gravel elsewhere. Right, let's get this buggy in. Wondering whether we should move that one along. If we can line that up with that. I don't want to do it like that. That's going to come over this way. Oh, no, no, no. That's no good. Let's get rid of that. Um, so that one's coming into there, into there. We probably want that coming over to there. I wish this little thing here would just go away. The little box telling us stuff. I don't want to know. Let's go for that. Pause that a second. And can we? Are we bollocks? So we need another one there. Well, this has uh, turned out to be a mess. As per usual. Put you there. There. Beautiful. Beautiful. This might be a bit too far away. Oh, hell no. Hey. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll just do this. Right, so that, get it up back underway and get these all built. We need to power these though. We need to build some massive transformers over here. Uh, oh, I should have built a flipping storage yard. We still can. Let's pause it again. So, this is getting iron ore, I believe, wasn't it? But well, let's fund you. So we probably want 
Drop that. This storage. Oh, you know. Right. Um, if we put, we should put our iron ore there, shouldn't we? That's where that should go. So let's destroy everything we just paid for. <laughs> and try that again. Uh, where are we at? Large. Just to make doubly sure, yes. So patrol and then mouse whale. That should be okay. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Seriously. Oh, hate me, man. Right, let's uh just move this down a little bit. I know we're paying for it. We could buy some uh trucks to do that. We probably should. There we go. Lovely. And then I believe we could get more iron a bit further along, couldn't we? Yes, yeah, so we could put one up there, one there, and then they could all go into our little <coughs> iron ore yard. So let's connect. Oh, you're shitting me, man. Oh, it hates. It hates having things uh, on nice angles. Probably should uh, look at the wireframe from this, but just because these never line up anyway, why, why is that like that? So this is another little bug I've noticed. If you put your road in first and then do your conveyor, it doesn't go. <laughs> Shit! I thought it was going to. <laughs> oh man! You're kidding? Me. You're kidding me, dude? Hmm. We don't need the road. We can sort this out with the later days. We probably just need to knock that one down and rebuild it somewhere else. Uh, we haven't even connected this one up. Put that in there. Now. We make steel here. So I. Um, iron. So this just makes iron, not steel. Okay. Well, let's take another look. Gravel, iron, steel, iron. And there's our steel mill. So we need iron and coal. Ooh, holy crap! This is massive. Whoa. Oh, do you know what else I've done wrong? What the hell is that there? Well, we can't have that road. And it just looks dreadful anyway. I don't know what the hell's happened to that. They've kind of got here as well, look. Weird. Whilst we've got money, that's wasted. And <clears throat> now it's probably going to be a bit more flattening out. So I'll fast this on. So I've flattened it all out nicely. So let's try and get our steel mill in now. And we could do with it being like in a, a great place just completely out of the way. We do need to get coal in here as well. So we've got incoming incoming there. Train tracks. Hmm. Before we put that down, I just want to check to see if there's any kind of coal over here. That would be a big fat no. 
So we're going to have to drag that in with trucks and stuff, or uh, some kind of elaborate uh, uh, conveyor belt mechanism thing. So we could just put a, a some kind of coal storage, maybe it's there or something, and then transport it over, and then it comes into here, or just get a, uh, a truck to bring it in. It doesn't really matter. So I want to leave plenty of room for everything. We'll also get our road straight in. And then try and get our conveyor belt to go over the top of it. That's like some some right angle road that. Oh do do that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Get rid of that bit. Um, no, we can't take the road there. So let's put that road there, meet it up, and then hopefully that won't look dreadful like that. But uh, then we'll have our wiggly road. That's road made, and we'll build this. Wasting all of our gold again, but if we can make st iron and steel, which it's uh, more expensive. So steel we can sell for like 400. Which is nice. Which we could probably is even buying coal and iron because they're only... That would be 60 that we make stick. Wow, that, that's... Hmm. Uh, if that what it sends out so we didn't even really need to do this do we never mind we can just buy and call I suppose um, what do we need conveyors this one just to make it look pretty we'll put that one there Connect it to. Okay, I want to connect it to that one, but uh, it doesn't want me to. It's like no, no, it just, just, just do the other one. No, you're not allowed to put that anywhere other than there. So we need one coming out to here and maybe it's going over there. That would be like that in a fashion. So control again to try and move it a little less and let's do that I thought it wasn't going to do it then we're slightly out there but that's fine now can we no we can walk this way that's beautiful oh, just I wish you could just get these roads to meet up nice it it's like I, I want it on this line not that side of the line not that side of the line just the proper side of the line. Whatever. Oh, that'll do. Right, we need to power them now. And we need to get people in as well. That's the only problem with uh, putting them so far away from each other. We've run out of people. I think we might save that for the next one though. Let's put the power in for now. And then I think we'll call it a day. So we need big power line. Which is that one. That we've already sent out. Um, I think we're going to split that off. Oh no, 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 that's fine. We can go this way. We'll go alongside the road. Just in case. Because mm. we, we definitely want some more fields in. Three is not enough. So we put like. Maybe three more in there when we flatten that down. So let's see if we can. Get this to uh, go somewhere good. I think what we'll do is uh, plan it first <laughs> rather than wasting our money uh, trying to put it right. Otherwise, it ends like that. Damn, son. No. So it's not going to work that way. Good job I didn't do that. 
might have to go through. I don't think we're going to get through there. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we. Uh, down. Uh, we could maybe do it like this, and then over there. It was a one. Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, not sure why that's doing that. Oh, it's because we're on a bridge. Oh my goodness. Okay. Plan B. We're going to split this. We can run it down there then, can't we? Yes. So we want a power transfer. Form and don't want to power switch. And it's like that. But we need to demolish that. No, nope, one again. There we go. Magic. We're probably going to have to uh, sell that stuff anyway. Like, uh, sell bollocks. Stop selling our uh, power. Mm, we're probably going to use another switch. Oh, dear. Seriously? Let's try it there first. There was definitely a. Don't be so mean. Ooh. I'm hoping. Of course, we can't do that because that would be just too easy. Shit. Yes, and uh, let's deselect that again so we can make all our mistakes without uh, spending money. Would this uh, work? I think it would. Oh, baby. Um, so if we go over here, we can then do another transformer and a switch kind of thing. That's not good. No, 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 no. We'll take it out around the back of the... Oh, uh, we'll probably leave this spare ready to uh, change this over at some point because we might want to put our livestock farm there but we've got, we've got plenty of room to put everything we want need to so we'll put that one there then we'll go for a switch also a transformer let's put our transformer Fine. Can we flatten this out then? Do we need to flatten it out? Yeah. Let's come on, make it a little bit flatter. So we need one of these transformers so we can uh, put some substations in so we can power all this stuff. This is probably is going to be like too much, too much power. I don't want it like that though. Um, it'd be nice if we could like flip around or something. That's okay, we've, we've got the road at the bottom. I can't see because of that stupid bloody thing in the way all the time. Right, you're good there. Then we want. One of those. Then we connect this with that, and then a beautiful connection like that. I should have maybe put that there, but it's nice and flat there. So this is all fine. We get that built and that built. Now we want substations. <laughs> this is what substation. Uh, we could just. Oh, could we? 
So we can power all three if we put it, I mean all, how many ever, if we put it there. So we'll do it like that. Then make sure it powers everything. And then we can have this bit as our uh, uh, housing state, skills and stuff. And then it gets powered as well. Just making sure. See, we need to power these as well, don't we? Ugh. Okay, in that case, we're going to put one. This side. Also one. This side. Then we can power them up. So we'll use. We come this way. Don't know will it let us get round these. Oh, we put that in. Let's let's have it. Can there? Right, we can. So we're gonna put that one in first. So we'll go over. Kind of make it some kind of pretty. Bit less prettier now. Uh, get rid of you. Just for the corner. There we go. And hopefully. Boom. That one done. Now for the mega ugly one. Because this will be dreadful. Maybe not, maybe not. I think we'll try and should we try and Put it down the side of the buildings. No, let's just, let's just go straight to that building. We can do a big, better angle, can't we? That's nice. There we go. Beautiful. Right, build those. Are we getting power? Yes. You're getting power. We don't have any workers, that's fine. We're going to put them in next core. Uh, you got power. And you got power. And you have power. So we're missing coal and iron. So I think on the next core, I'll pause it now. On the next core, we're going to try and fill this up, put some houses around, and hopefully get these exporting. Because I think just over the hill is a beautiful place with a tiny road that we could probably sell our steel to. So we could buy it with rubles, sell it for uh, that stuff. But that's for next go. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.